Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Uh, this is uh, Easy Drawings 101. Ah! Drop something. Today we're going to go over how to draw uh, superhero hands, essentially, which is, you know, basically hands. We're going to go over how to draw hands. Um, I'm going to be using these two things. The, uh, this is a Micron 05, and this is a Pigma brush, you know. This is Pigma Micron 05. They're both Pigma brand, so we can, uh, let's go over a few structural things where we talk about the hand, and then, um, and then we'll draw a couple of them. But, um, so... Right off the bat, let's go structural first. Drawing the hand, uh, I like to think of the hand as a bot. Uh, actually, I like to split things up into kind of their framework. And, uh, I like to think of things as simple shapes. So when you think about the hand, large part of that hand would be, I'd think of it as, let me use this marker. This, let me just use this Sharpie marker to talk about the store, the uh, actual parts of it, and then I'll use the other stuff for the art. So this part of the hand, I think of it as mostly a square. Uh, if you think of it like a box, maybe like a, they used to compare it to like a uh, like a large cigarette box or something like that. That would be a really good way to think about that. Uh, the fingers themselves come off, and the middle finger is the longest. And sometimes, normally, what happens is even the middle knuckle will follow suit. So, for example, if you hand, have a hand like this, the middle knuckle will many times stick up the furthest. I just put these circles that represent the knuckles. See, that would be the center of that finger. The uh, opposing thumb. I think of it as like a kind of small cone sticking out. But it, it is obviously opposing, is which, which kind of allows us to grab anything as opposed to like pigs or. Um, Dogs, stuff like that. We have that. That tends to be credited to, you know, societal advancements, you know. Although monkeys do have it, and I think koalas have two opposable thumbs so, and for climbing. Uh, but think of that, that kind of part of the hand uh, like that. If you were to look at the other side, let's look at the opposing side of that hand. Still think of this as mostly boxy shape. Same rule, middle finger is the longest. The only difference would be the only, I think that little cone sticking out. The only uh, thing would be on like this side of the palm of the hand, uh, there are fat pads within this part of the hand. There's a big one right here for the thumb. There's one over here, I think it was like a bean where you're kind of like laying your hand down as you write. You're laying on that fatty pad as you're writing to kind of give you support. Uh, and then also the uh, kind of bone of the palm right here. You can do like palm strikes with it like in uh, martial arts. You know, it's just kind of, it's the bone underneath but with a fat pad over it. And you can hit really hard. You can also do palm strikes with the bottom here. So, depends. But these, those are the general fatty pads I think of when I'm drawing, you know, that kind of trifecta. Uh, the good thing about the hand is that you always have your hand for reference. You know, you always have your own hand. So you can always kind of look at it for reference. That's probably why there's not a whole ton of reference for hands, unless it's like the back side of it. And even then I can take a picture on my iPhone and then just start doing that. Uh, the fist. Let's see what else when it comes to these. Uh, let's go over the fingers really, really quick. Uh, when you're looking at the fingers, I like to simplify the shapes to that down to uh, the shapes to those as well. Uh, obviously, where they break. So if you're looking at this portion of the of the finger, uh, I, I the the shapes that I think of on the tips of the fingers would be this round shape, and then it kind of tapers down. 
that would be that fat pad right there. That would be the tip of most, pretty much every finger, including the thumb. And then that center digit right here, it's kind of like an even jelly bean, I always think of that. More even. You see the difference between these two? This one tapers, this one doesn't. And the one that connects to the actual palm is kind of more of the same. It's a little bit bigger, of course, though. And then you have the rest of the hand, the knuckle, all that stuff. That'd be one, two, three. Let's think of that. One, two, three, and then that uh, the palm. Palm would be longer than that. Uh, one more thing. Let's talk about. Not I always say one more thing, but let's talk about the fingers as they bend. So as you bend, right? As you bend, it's gonna bend kind of like toward. It's gonna bend more. I think the, the sooner it bends would be uh, the closer it is to the actual hand. So this will bend first, and this will bend second, essentially. But when that happens. The squishing happens, the squishing of the skin, the squishing of these pads happens, which is something that uh, people don't really talk about ever, I noticed. Uh, there are a few videos on it, but as it squishes, you get that realistic, uh, you get that kind of, how do you say that, that realistic, uh, that kind of realness that, that sometimes people miss in their drawings, you know. And this is something you're going to have to kind of go over. But I always draw that. It's like you're drawing squishy pillows. And it makes it feel like it's pressing in on each other, which is what's going on. But um, that's something that's very. Uh, that's something you kind of have to go over and practice. But like I said, think of those. Think of squishing pillows, literally. That's why I think I always call these things fat pads. Although other people do that too. Think of them like squishing pillows together. How are they going to look? Anyways, remember that. Uh, so in actually keeping with that squishiness, let's kind of go over the fist. Uh, the fist is really cool. It's in comics consistently. I do the same thing. I think of it as a almost like a basically a square with the opposing thumb sticking out there. Connecting to the wrist. Same thing with the knuckles. That middle knuckle will be the highest. And then you have this, again, squishing of that fat pad. So you have the knuckles here. And I think what really makes a fist look like a fist would be that you're when you're squeezing your hand, you're, you are squishing those pillows I told you about, those pillows in your palm here.
Okay, so now I drew these two hands. One was like a fist. This one I really looked at my own hand a lot to draw that one. Uh, same thing with this one too, I drew my own hand. Uh, one thing I want to do is here I'm going to erase stuff. I'm going to erase the uh, pencil lines because they are in the way. They're annoying. Uh, I'm just going to use the back of this mechanical pencil. And the mechanical pencil is not vital or anything. You can use any kind of pencil. I just needed something that erased, you know what I mean? I would even use an erasable pen if I could. I don't know. I haven't used those things in forever, though. So I wanted that squishiness of the hand, that kind of like, you know what I mean? I put uh, some light. Uh, I put this kind of core shadow here. I, I need to be able to see it, so I put this long core shadow, which is this dark line. Um, if you don't know what core shadow is, I mentioned it in the How to Draw an Arm uh, video. But, uh, yeah. There's a cast shadow here. If you want to look at, make it look a little less older, do that there. I mean, kind of straighten things out. Doesn't have to be as much cross hatching. I even thought about putting this entire lower part within shadow, but I'm not really gonna do that per se right now. Uh, that's kind of it. That's two hands. If you have any questions, I, I, this is where I really need your help. Uh, I want uh, questions, and I want to make a second video uh, follow up, uh, but addressing the questions specifically that you're uh, mentioned right now in the comments. So can you guys please do that for me? If you can, if you have any questions, please let me know. How, what can I expand on in terms of the hand? Think of the hand, okay? What can I expand on? I really do appreciate it. If you did like this video, please share it anywhere. Maybe Pinterest, maybe uh, Facebook, Twitter. Um, sharing it is absolutely the biggest compliment to me you could ever do. It really is. It just it helps so much, and you know, it's just it's just great. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you watching this long, uh, and I'll let you get back to your day. So see you later.